One thing I hear about online a reasonable amount is if it's actually worth it to do an SSD upgrade on older systems that only have SATA 2 connectors. So we're going to be doing a comparison of SATA 2 versus SATA 3 speeds with SSDs on a slightly older system. So here's all the different results from the different tests we'll go to. First test is a reboot test where we're rebooting Windows on a 120GB SanDisk um, SSD. One thing to remember is this is done on a server board with very long post times, so it's probably 20 seconds less than this on a normal board. Pretty consistently, um, the SATA um, 3 gigabit per second definitely took longer, pretty consistently, over three runs of roughly half a second. But half a second really is not a big difference. Everything still felt SSD fast. Pretty small difference. Okay, looking at the next drive, which is a SanDisk drive using FIO and Linux, kernel 4.15. Um, first one was a sequential write test. Sequential writes were, as you can expect, quite a bit different, both limited to 234 when on SATA 3 versus 387 when on SATA 6 gigabit. Sequential writes had the, um, reads had the same issue thing where they were significantly faster. Now as you can see from boot times, most things don't need all the sequential write speeds. But if you do need sequential writes, you're getting quite a bit better. You're going to be very limited by a slower SATA 3 gigabit. Moving into 4K or more random 4K writes and stuff. So this is the only outlier I got, because I got 88.6 for 4K writes on SATA 6 gigabit and 7 on 3. So I tried rerunning it on a different SSD, where um, down here I got virtually the same, 111 versus 92, which is more what I'd expect. Um, 4K reads were virtually identical on the first SSD and slightly faster or basically within margin of error on the second one. So as we see, random speeds are generally slightly better on SATA 6 gigabit, but not very much. Sequential speeds is where you see the biggest difference. Now the thing is with SSDs is most of the reason why SSDs are so much faster is because of those random speeds, not the sequential ones. On a hard drive, this would all be around 1. It depends on the exact drive though. So because say the 3 gigabit per second can keep these, sequ these random speeds still very good, it'll still make a SSD a huge upgrade even if you have a slow interface. And I'm guessing these, sequ these random speeds will still be very good even on a SATA 1.5 interface and still be much better than any hard drive can be. So in summary, yeah, even if you have a slow interface, an SSD is still a huge upgrade. Thanks for watching this little benchmark video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.